Good afternoon everyone, I hope uh, you are doing very well. Uh, in this lecture, I am going to be discussing about uh, CONP, EXP and NEXP classes. Um, so before, before discussing about uh, different other classes, uh, complexity classes, uh, let us look at a uh, uh, reduction, carp reduction. Uh, that is uh, that's proposed by by scientist CARP. Uh, what it means that uh, CARP reduction function f. Okay. So there is uh, the a function CARP reduction function f. This function, what it does is that uh, it translates a problem or uh, into another form. So, let us say you are giving the strings for uh, an algorithm L to solve. So, what it means that this car production function will convert the input strings in your language L to some other output strings. So, let us say x here you will have x stick equal to fx which is the output of, of this function <coughs> and now these strings can be solved by another algorithm you know. So what, what essentially we did we reduced the original problem of which takes the input x into another problem and reduced to uh, another problem which is can be solved by the algorithm different algorithm and it will output one if and only if <coughs> your whatever the output is produced by the function f okay those strings all those strings x takes belong to the uh, language l take or which can be solved by this new language l so we would say that f is the carbs reduction or function f is reducing the original problem into some other problem which can be solved okay Excuse me. Okay, so um, in a simple sense, that reduction is just basically uh, converting one problem description into another form of the same problem. Okay, but in a different form. Okay, which can be solved uh, by a Turing machine. This can be solved by a Turing machine M. The same way. <coughs> now let us say a language L belongs to NP and this is a you know sort of uh, graph of, of reduction or you may say a web of reduction or whatever you may say a tree of reduction that all problems or all languages in which belongs to NP class can be reduced to SAT and then further they can be reduced to, to some other problems. Okay. So, these are some simple example of some of the problems. There are uh, thousands of the problems, but the, the idea of, of this uh, uh, reduction tree is to show that the problems can be reduced to some other form of problems and then they can be solved if we have a polynomial time algorithm to solve them right now let us look at uh, another thing so for example if we have a language l okay then the complement of this language we can denote it by this form okay so what it means that why we we are discussing about the complement of the language l uh, simply because we want to discuss a complexity class called CONP, complement NP. However, do not think that this is the complement of NP, no. It is simply uh, a class which for which uh, the complement of your language L belongs to P or the 
problems uh, which can be solved in polynomial time or in other words what you can say you can denote in this in this form um, that for for every language l uh, if there is this exist a polynomial time uh, algorithm okay and subject to the constraint that it can be solved by a Turing machine okay so CONP is not the complement of NP okay it's just another class of problem see it's not actually complement of NP okay so it's not okay so always remember that so for every language in P is so what it means that for every language in P means which you can solve in polynomial time is basically the intersection of NP and complement of NP or CONP class, all right? Now we discuss the EXP, the exponential class. It's simply that all sorts of problems uh, which have exponential time uh, algorithm, okay? For, for any constant C, you can solve it in exponential time. And any XP is that another class of problem you cannot, uh, so for which you do not have a deterministic time algorithm NDTM which can solve the problems in exponential time even, okay. So three classes CONP for which uh, the complement of the language L, right, we can solve that, okay. EXP exponential class NEXP, uh, the exponential class for which there is no, um, no deterministic algorithm exists which can solve these problems in exponential time even, okay. What we can say that the P, the problems which can be solved in polynomial time or you know deterministic time is a subset of NP and then NP is a subset of exponential time and these are again subset of an exp time now this this can be proved but here we're not gonna get into the proof um, you may go and check the textbook the basic idea of this lecture is to introduce introduce you different other classes of, of problems okay now why why we are learning all these things it's simple because uh, if we know um, what sort of uh, problem we have and we want to go and solve it and if we have some idea that this problem can be reduced to the, uh, some other problem which we have already known algorithm, right, we will efficiently solve that problem, okay. Or if we do not have then we can focus on to finding the solution of those problems and if we can solve those those problems then think about uh, our robots would be much smarter okay our electronic circuits which are being uh, you know developed nowadays with the help of computer programs would be much much smarter okay now what we learned today in this lecture is that the class NP consists of all languages for which membership can be certified to a polynomial time algorithm, okay. An NP class can also be defined using non-deterministic Turing machine, okay. Now NP complete problems are the hardest problems in NP. What it means that uh, what it means that that we can solve NP-complete problems 
if and only if p equal to np. Or many other problems for which have nothing to do with the Turing machine turn out to be NP complete. For example, free SAT. Okay. Another learning point is that P equal to NP, if we have P equal to NP, then for every search problem which can efficiently be verified given a solution, we can also find uh, the solution from a scratch. With the same efficiency all right so thank you guys i hope uh, uh, i have done something uh, for you today in this lecture to make your life easy with computational complexity subject if you are struggling with the subject and you want to have private lessons you may contact us and thank you for subscribing the professor channel on youtube and those who haven't subscribed yet I would encourage you to subscribe the channel. This helps us and uh, encourages us that people are liking our videos and motivates us to create more interesting online lectures for you guys. Have a wonderful day.